there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. Today, we're here at Shea Stadium in New York for Stitch and Pitch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Shea Stadium. Tonight, the Mets take on the Atlanta Braves. The starting pitchers are John Smith for the Braves and Orlando Hernandez for the Mets. First pitch is scheduled for the Saints and the end. Taking mass transit to and from Shea is even more convenient now that Metro cards are on sale at the advanced ticket windows, dugout shops, and team stores. Pick up your Metro card for the ride home and use it the next time you take the train to the game. I'm working with our national committee to put on the stitch and pitch events with 25 Major League Baseball teams. There are 25 teams doing stitch and pitch this year, and there are only 30 teams all together. So that's about 83% of all Major League ball. We're giving away tote bags filled with needle arts materials that were contributed by the national wholesalers as well as local shops. A silk screen with the Mets logo and the stitch and pitch logo on the bag. And then we have the doctor, the crochet doctor and the knitting doctor. So you have a question, or if you might have seen that two little girls were learning to crochet. And we have people from the Crochet Guild and the Knitting Guild staffing those tables. So we really have local involvement of, of people who do the needle arts. And our objective is, is to get a needle artist in every household. And one of the ways to do that is to put needle arts in the public eye. And what better way than at the baseball game? So it's a crossover. We get people in seeing what's going on and the teams sell seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the area behind home plate for a special Mets Spirit Award presentation. Tonight, the Mets are hosting the first Stitch and Pitch event at Shea Stadium. Stitch and Pitch is a highly successful program of the National Legal Arts Association. The 2007 season will attract thousands of fans who will sit together in the stands and knit, crochet, cross-stitch, needlepoint, and embroider while cheering on their favorite team. How do you feel about the fact that Stitch and Pitch was the takeoff of Stitch and Pitch? Oh, I think it's fun. I mean, this Stitch and Pitch has been around since the 40s. And um, I think my book sort of helped, like, you know, get this trend invigorated again. It's fun whenever knitters are getting together, and it's always a nice way to spend time. I've never been to a baseball game before in my life, but I'm here, and I think that'll be great. Okay, I am Lily Chin. Here we go. <laughs> And um, right now I am wor I've worked on this stupid Mace Mets uniform that I'm wearing in the sweltering heat and I've been working on a lot of the stitch and pitch stuff. Uh, I've been on the committee since the get-go for the New York Mets, so I'm not surprised to see 800 show up. I think that baseball and uh, stitching is just a happy marriage. Um, I can't think of anything I'd rather do watching you know, a baseball game. <laughs> ever been to a baseball game before? Oh sure, but I'm usually not allowed to knit. I'm usually discouraged by my boyfriend that it's embarrassing, so for me this is um, liberating. <laughs> I'm a Red Sox fan, and I have a blog. I'm Subway Knitter. You're Subway Knitter? I am. No way! Yeah, way! No way! Yeah, way! No way! <laughs> 
Did you guys expect this big of a turnout? No. <laughs> well, we were hoping for it. <laughs> I mean, I it's didn't realize great. there was going to be so many different, you know, knitting groups from all over the city. Yeah. Where's that? Um, Noro. Oh, Zora, Noro's? Noro. Yeah. Um, Daria. That's beautiful. I have it in this color, too. So, I don't know, this is going to be either a bag or like a bikini cover-up kind of thing. How about where you... This is the start of a baby hat. <laughs> and it's Rowan cotton wool. I thought that was a good yarn for a baby. Yeah. What are you working on there? Um, I just grabbed a ball of yarn before I left for the, the game. And so I decided to make a quick hat. So just getting started. But... And you didn't bring anything? Brought my cell phone to text. That's about it. <laughs> Sorry. You could help her like skein the yarn there. I've been, I've been supervising her, you know, okay. tell, telling her where, where to go. Do you, are you guys baseball fans? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the least. <laughs> we really have no idea. I mean, we know of the game, but we really don't know anything about it. But it's actually been really, really exciting to be here and learn about the game because we are sitting next to this person over here who is very nice and knows a lot about the game. <laughs> and he's been teaching us about the game as we've been talking about knitting. <laughs> and this is my pumpkin hat. <laughs> as you can see. So what is it you're knitting there? I'm knitting a Doctor Who scarf, Tom Baker scarf from Doctor Who. Um, I'm knitting a pair of knee socks from the Rowan, I guess, fall, winter last year. Are you guys baseball fans? Absolutely. I'm getting there. <laughs> well, um, Stitch and Pitch is actually our chap. all the dots before I got here but the lighting's perfect it's such a sort of um, it's the perfect game to knit to because there's action and then there's a pause and there's action and a pause so uh, I'm gonna bring my knitting the next time <laughs> it's been really good time good time to sit around knitting with everyone else focus knitting time right yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> And I think it's great how many different types of knitters too, like there, you, you see the young girls, they're Girl Scouts over there, and I thought that was adorable, but then I mean, and you see people knitting like really complex, like intarsia, but then you also see just like, like you know, the normal striped, especially like the Mets striped beanies and everything, it's really cute. I was so upset last year that I, New York didn't host anything, so I waited to this year. When I got the email, I circled on my calendar, and I didn't care what, whatever reason, I was coming. <laughs> And you dragged your son along? Yes, my, and he came, and my, I told my husband, we're going to be there regardless. <laughs> so tell us about your projects. Yes, I'm making a scarf from the uh, current knitting, creative knitting magazine. And I've just started teaching him how to knit. I hope that we would have a great toner, and so I'm so happy. So next year, we can come and do it again. Are you guys baseball fans? He yeah. is. It's like the best thing to see all my favorite players. I, I dream to be a baseball player one day when I grow up. It's very cool. Were you so you're a Mets fan already? Yes. Always been. <laughs> Thank you.
so cool. I can't believe I 